now whatever they want in return. <laughs> Just throwing out all the draft picks, man. Give me, give me that right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you know what? You make the trade. Oh God, next. These two players get me to set quickly. I'm time to put the names in. All right, all right. Beast mode. Oh my God. And beast, beast mode. Paul versus Beast. Well, one of them has a longer name, man, and uh, I'm a fan of both of these players. Beast, obviously, no other way to describe the player. Absolute beast. Basically, a solo Charizard main, and this is probably not the stage they wanted. And then we got Beast mode. Paul. Uh. Ridiculous hero player. This this entire set is gonna be wild from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, hero. It's always funny, right? You either get really slow matches because they're zoning and playing it safe, or they just don't care, and then you get really funny matches. Uh, I can tell you right now, Beast Mode Paul should be a very funny match. <laughs> yes, let's go. <laughs> this dude is actually pretty saucy. Um, does some pretty crazy stuff. We saw a zero to, like, the last time I did commentary for this dude, I saw him do a zero to death, uh, using, I think, um, Sizz into a fireball, and, and then, like, a forward air between that. There's all sorts of crazy stuff happening. This dude is an absolute war zone, all in one character. That's what I hear. Also, thank you so much, Black Knight with a tier two sub, and 60 months, five years being a sub. Let's freaking go, bro. Appreciate it so much. Romantic face. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic face, oh my god. Thank you so much, too. Yeah, getting into this match. Uh, how do you think this matchup plays out? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I know Hero has a lot of crazy shenanigans, but Charizard is, uh, is a very fast lizard. One of the fastest characters in the game, by the way. And it hits really damn hard. So it's a matter of just kind of find a way like that. Smothering Hero. Making sure Hero doesn't get anything set up. Because Hero does need a little bit of setup to really be working at their best. Even if they are aggressive. So as long as Beast is able to keep that pressure going on, I think he should be able to wrap this up fairly solidly. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a little bit of a lag spike. It looks like the player's just relaxing, you know. Remember, guys, the players are experiencing the lag. It's not just us. <laughs> <laughs> now, never... Never forget that Nintendo really tried to tell us that for one of their online events. Dude, it's just, uh, you know, it's damage control, man. I, I get it. Uh, there's definitely a little bit of lag going on here. I'm really yeah, sad uh -oh, about this, too, uh -oh. because uh, I'm a big fan. I really wanted to see both of these players go at it. We might be seeing a uh, lag test. We'll see. I, I personally would not be playing this out. I'd be like, all right, we're calling mod. That's just me. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we might end up seeing that anyway. It looks like they're trying to just find a way to play it out, which I'm happy for that. But at the same time, you don't want to, you know, we don't want to compromise the integrity of the game too much. You, you want to try and fight in the best possible uh, connection that you can get. So, I mean, hopefully it, it turns out okay, but ugh. Guys, don't forget, by the way, if you're not playing on Wi-Fi, play on LAN. If you play on Wi-Fi, uh, you're just you're always having fun. And you get banned. And you, and you get banned. It is not <laughs> legal to play on Wi-Fi in the online tournaments. Anywhere, pretty much. It's not the big ones. Yeah, all right. Looks like he's calmed down a little bit. Looks like, um... Oh, my God. So far, three stocks to one. This Charizard is just smacking here around. Yeah, man. Uh, beast being a beast. There's no other way to put it. No other way to describe the play style of this Charizard specialist. Well, almost getting a forward air into that whack. That would have been crazy. Mm -hmm. This I mean, is doable. It's it, 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 it winnable. It is winnable, but... It, it's very much winnable. Oh, God. The pressure, though. As where Beast played something that wasn't, like, Charizard for a moment, that's crazy. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Trying to go for something. Just nothing. Sometimes yeah, it got... happens where it's like you see someone go for something and they just don't do anything and you're like, eh? It's ultimate bro. Press buttons. Exactly. Oh, oh going God. for it all. <laughs> Being an absolute uh, stud, just trying to go for the craziest flare blitz of all time. <laughs> okay, okay. The, um, get some damage out. Charizard was very long, obviously. Oh, wow. This could actually uh, be a stock being very soon. That forward air is going to be enough to do it. And I told you. I told you this was doable. It's just honestly a couple hits uh, could possibly just be the game for Beast Mode Paul. Yep. He does have no stock now. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 a couple hits in his face could be the end of the game for him. Oh, oh man. Dude, Charizard back air is a problem, huh? 
I think Charizard back here is like legit one of the longest reaching normals in the game. And it's, it's, so, it's so fast and it's strong. When you get the tipper, it's insane. Yep, it has like a big like arc as well. So like, it's kind of mm -hmm. deceiving because you think it like goes straight, but it actually kind of goes like up. I'm actually gonna check right now because I'm really curious. Yeah, it kind of it kind of like flicks up a little bit. It has a it has a some pretty crazy properties to it. And as you said, it does have a tipper as well. Just you know, add uh, extra power to it. Exactly. In case it wasn't killing at sixty, like in case you need to make sure it kills at sixty. Yeah. <laughs> and it only comes out frame fourteen, like. Yeah. It's good, man. It's it's a really good move. <laughs> yep, it is a very good move. Yeah, but look right now, the tipper is massive, by the way, like bigger than the tail itself. Mm. And also, the big part of the move is that, like the way Charizard's body contorts, like helps even more with the move. Because like right, right. he like flicks his like entire body like backwards with it. <laughs> so yeah. With yeah, it definitely set, has uh, quite the range on it. Yeah, right now they're doing a lag chest or something. They okay. called mods. I'm technically a mod, but I'm not actually going to do any mod work because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to just talk about video games. Exactly, man. That's the best part of this job. You just get to talk about video games? Yep. Every video game. <sighs> any games you play right now besides Smash? Uh, I've been playing a bit of Rushdown Revolt with one of my friends. Um, I absolutely love that game, man. It, it's a lot of fun. I really want it to take off, but like... I, dude, I got I got this big fear. It's just gonna it's gonna end up like a lot of other Smash clones. Where it will it'll have a scene, right? But like it just I don't know. I just feel like it won't take off the same way. Like look at Brawlhalla. That game should be taking off, and like in all technicalities, it is. But it just I, it doesn't have the same player base, you know? So it's actually weird because Brawlhalla, like if you go on like the the viewership for like their YouTube like championships and like the Twitch championships, yeah, it's there. Individual players, not so much. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like, it actually has a pretty sizable player base, but it's not a consistent, like, viewer base. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Where it's, like, I feel like Rush Revolt is a pretty good game. They're still fixing things, making a lot of, like, massive changes, honestly, even nowadays to it. Right. But, um, yeah, it definitely, like, doesn't have, like, that, like, huge, like, snowball of momentum. And mm -hmm. it's gonna drop. The full game's gonna release soon, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't wait for it. It's, like... And it's like like you said they are they are constantly making changes and like the developers for them are really receptive to anything too uh so i i, I really appreciate that about it uh about them exactly but like they just had an ashani remodel too ashani's looking really good and ashani's really fun to play if you guys are captain falcon mains and you want a lot of good movement options uh ashanti is definitely the way to go and i think the beta is currently open right now right yes i think that it's currently Give us alpha or beta technically, but yeah, they're doing that. They added like new mechanics recently. They're still changing and adding mechanics. Like they added a parry mechanic recently, and yep. they recently also released Alpha and Gallo like a couple months ago. Like or re-released them, like revamped them completely. It's actually funny. I saw so I was like a kind of like a consultant for the game like two years ago. Yeah. Um, and the game has changed so much from when it was like early like in development after being rebranded from like Icons to Rush and Revolt. Yeah. And like, it's like the, the characters are basically unrecognizable, like the actual movesets. Mm -hmm. And the game is so good now. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun for sure. Um, and actually, for those who are listening too, uh, not only is it an open beta, but you can actually make one of your emotes in game to buzz his face. Like, you can just spam the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, my face is literally an emote in that game. It's great. Just like, doing, like, the, it is pretty good. <laughs> the jazz is like three pop off. <laughs> it is it's a lot of fun man i have a lot of fun with uh with urda it's like i feel like urda is like the character i've always wanted like in smash bros uh you know decent recovery but a, a really expansive uh uh grab game in general like there's just so much that's going on for her but um you know it is what it is i have a lot of fun playing it with my with my buddy uh snow so we have a good time mm -hmm. yeah definitely yeah, i'm gonna try to pick it up i like playing what's her name um ezzy Oh, I do. I knew. I knew yeah, you were gonna yeah, be like, Ezzy main. Yeah, hundred percent. Like <laughs> a lot of people think I play Afi Gallo, but like they're not zoners. Ezzy is like the premier like zoner. I described her as she like is. she's kind of like the Toon Link of that game. Lots of like good zoning. Some of these hip hop. She's like Toon Link with like a Peach Float esque thing. Dude, and her float's really good too. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's uh she she's a lot of fun. I mean, I feel like just like. There's only like nine characters, I think, that are currently playable. Nine or eight characters. Yeah. But I feel like as long as you give the game a shot, you're gonna find a character that fits the playstyle that you really, really wanna, um, you know, play around with. But uh, 
But outside of, I, uh, not Icons, excuse me, Rushdown Revolt, uh, I've been playing a little bit of Pokemon here and there. I love playing Pokemon. And uh, I'm just waiting for Monster Hunter Rise to come around. Yeah, Monster Hunter Rise, definitely. I'm a little bit excited for it. I mostly want to play it because, like, my friend group, like, really likes that game. So, of course, you know, the, if the Buzz, the Chaz, the Pals are going to play it, I got to play it, too. Yeah, it's a good time. I think. Have you played one before? Yeah, I played World. World was really fun. I'm like World just worried because is... it doesn't seem like like Rise is gonna be as like good as World, like graphically. Maybe like the Switch is oh, a limited yeah. console compared to PC. But I'm gonna give it an open mind. I think uh, they announced that Rise is gonna come out on PC about a year after. Um, so maybe it gets a bit of a graphical update. Uh, I would imagine so for PC. It'll at least run smoother. I mean, that that's one thing we can look forward to. But uh, yeah, the game game's a lot of fun, man. I I really love it. Monster Hunter World's probably the easiest Monster Hunter to get into. And did we get a DQ? Um, I think we might 